Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today the insurgent pickup custom has been released. So if you were wondering between it and the night shark, this is the one that's out this week and it's actually not that bad. So in this video, what I want to do is go over one, if you should buy it and then two, show you guys some things that you should know before you do buy it or if you do buy it, because there are some things that you are not going to want to put in this car. Uh, when it comes to customization because it just makes it absolutely horrible so hopefully i go over all that stuff in this video and hopefully you enjoy it and if you do i'd appreciate it if you could drop it a like now as you can see if you don't own one already the insurgent pickup is 1.35 million so you are going to have to own one and you are going to have to own an moc and what we're going to go ahead and do is call it through pegasus and we're going to drive it in to our moc to upgrade it to the custom version so if we go to the insurgent pickup should spawn over here by the military base and then we'll go pick it up and drive it into our MOC. All right, so here we are. We're gonna go ahead and bring it inside of our MOC and customize it. You are gonna need the, the vehicle workshop in your MOC, by the way, if you wanna do this. So just know that. Once we get in here though, you'll see the customization or the upgrade cost is actually relatively cheap. If it does, go ahead and load here. So to upgrade it, you can see it's only $202,000, which if you already own the car, that's that's like a really, really good price. I don't see why you wouldn't want to upgrade it if you already own this vehicle as a Pegasus because it becomes a personal vehicle then, and obviously that means you can call it wherever and you don't have to deal with the stupid Pegasus stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade it. And once we upgrade it, there are a decent amount of options you have in terms of customization. So there's a few things that we also have to like the technical custom that we have to research i think there's only two there's the heavy armor plating there and i believe if we go down to weapons there's the 50 cal machine gun which is actually really good from what i've heard so those are the only two things we have to research which isn't horrible and i'll actually i might show you guys a way on how you can get two researches for one so if you want to know that then uh stay tuned it's going to be in another video probably but in terms of customization obviously we have the armor we have you know regular stuff engine nothing we have all the liveries that you have on all the other moc cars that you can customize let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do like a customization guide on the insurgent custom here obviously we have proximity mines which are pretty decent on this one especially if you are the driver and you're a solo player because you're not going to be up on the gun that often so that'll be a way that you can sort of protect yourself Respray, there are two options here. We have the primary there, and then just like the uh, just like the regular insurgent, the sort of outline or the outer parts is the secondary. I, I think there'll be some really cool options you can do in terms of customization. If you want to sell it, it doesn't sell for that much. Let's see, suspension, turbo, okay, all the other stuff is the same wheels, obviously, you already know, and then limo. So there's not really much customization, but as is, you know, I think what you're getting for two hundred thousand dollars is is a really good deal so some things that you should know before you buy it or if you do buy it one the armor plating i'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate or i'm gonna try and demonstrate this because the i don't have the heavy armor plating unlocked so i'm gonna have to go buy it but the light the medium and the heavy and the no armor which one are you gonna want to choose now right off the bat you may be thinking all right heavy armor it's the best one let's go with it but it's actually not. And again, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and show a demonstration of that in a second here. But the heavy armor, similar to like the Tampa and some of these other cars, it really doesn't do anything. And it actually negatively affects you because you can't shoot out of this. So basically, you're just a driver. And it doesn't, like, it may give you some bulletproof resistance on those windows, but eventually they do break and eventually you will get shot. And you still won't be able to shoot at people. So heavy armor is definitely a no-no. Now, when it comes to light and medium, light you or medium, you can see it does protect the gunner up there. So that might be something you do. This one you can actually shoot out of, and the light armor plating you can actually shoot out of. Although if you go with no armor plating, you can throw sticky bombs out of it. So it's gonna depend on what you want. You know, if you just want if you want more are or more protection for yourself and the gunner then go with the medium but just know you're only going to be able to shoot guns like the ap pistol and stuff out you're not going to be able to throw grenades or sticky bombs 
where if you want to throw grenades and sticky bombs because those are really good against other players that are coming after you, then you're going to want to go no armor. Just know that you're going to be a lot more exposed. But to be honest, the armor, like the medium plate armor here, it may look like it does a lot, but it really, the, in terms of protection, it, it really doesn't help that much. People can easily still shoot you, so it, it's kind of... It's kind of gimmicky. It's kind of just cosmetic, really. The only thing, maybe up top, you have some protection, but I wouldn't really worry too much about that. Some other things about this vehicle, and I don't know how well you can sort of see it because of the armor, but if you hold A to duck, then that'll definitely help you out, especially, like, if you're a solo player and, you know, like, for instance, I'm going to show you guys, since I have the level 2 armor, I can shoot all my guns, but as I scroll through, I can't throw any grenades. So if you want to maybe protect yourself, if you have other people coming after you and you're a solo player, so maybe all you have is the proximity mines to defend yourself that you can, you know, push the left stick in and and deploy them. I don't actually have it. Like, I didn't just buy it, so I don't, I can't do that. But, you know, if you were to buy that, then that's something you can do. Hold A, and if I go ahead and look, you can, well, if I go ahead and change the camera angle, you can see my character ducks. And that'll definitely protect you a lot more than the actual armor, which is kind of weird. Like, the level 2 armor really doesn't do anything, but if you duck, then you're less likely to get shot out at. Especially, you know, if you're using this for NPCs. Also, speaking of NPCs, you can use this in heists, I heard. Now, that's something that you're going to have to look into yourself. I'd never really play heists, but from what people have told me, you can use this in heists. So, that's something that's definitely good. If you didn't know, because maybe you never used this car a lot, this can actually hold up to nine people. It's really, it's crazy how many people this thing holds. So if you have a lot of friends or a lot of people in your crew, this is definitely going to be a, a vehicle that you use a lot. In terms of explosive resistance, I'll show this maybe in a second, but I have shown this multiple times, so I feel like by now it's kind of redundant to show the same clip like over and over. This thing can withstand a bunch of bullets, a bunch of RPGs and explosives. It actually can withstand 9 RPGs and sticky bombs, I believe, while it can withstand 27 homing launchers, because homing launchers actually do less damage to vehicles. So that's definitely something you're going to want to uh, just know if, if people are shooting at you. You do have, you know, a decent amount of cushion before you blow up. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate just to show you guys, since I don't have level 3 armor, I can't really show you guys that, um, but I can show you with the level 2 armor how it really... Like, it really does nothing in terms of armor. You can see I li I just one-shot him. So while the the glass doesn't crack, you can shoot right through it. So it, it really is all just cosmetic. Um, so just know that, that really the level 2 armor, the only thing it really gives you protection is the gunner. So that's, if you have a gunner, if you have a friend that's going to be the gunner, then that's really the only thing you're going to want level two protection from because if you see the the hatch actually sort of gives you protection from behind so the level three armor is almost useless because the the behind protection it, it you really don't even need it since it's got that whoops i just i didn't mean to shoot him since it's got uh this thing right there so you know that's the only reason you would get level two if, if you don't want that don't even get armor because it's useless and if you don't get armor you can throw sticky bombs so that's kind of it like the only other sort of things that you maybe should know is this has a tow so if you if your friend of yours has the AA trailer you can tow the AA trailer but unfortunately you can't tow your own AA trailer because your own AA trailer is a personal vehicle so it doesn't work now just to demonstrate the explosive resistance I'm gonna have him stay in there and I'm gonna blow it up also it can withstand more rockets if people are in it so that's something that you should know if no one's in it I think it only I think it only takes like five RPGs but if he gets in it and we start blowing it up you'll see it should take nine to blow it up and then this one should blow it up boom nine so there you guys go that is it though thank you all let me know in the comments if you guys either have bought this car or not i'm gonna kill myself so the cops don't kill me later on today i, I might be doing a custom video like a, a custom paint job video because there might be some if you know if i find some cool things then i'll definitely share them with you guys but that is it so thank you all if you have any other tips you maybe want to add then let me know in the comment section but as always i'll see you guys in the next one
So I just realized I never did actually answer, you know, should you buy it? And I would say, yeah, I mean, look, for $200,000, that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. You can make that easily in an hour. And even if you include all the costs to upgrade it fully and get all the research, that's still maybe 500000 which you can make in an hour and a half, you know, in an adversary mode, you can make that. So I would definitely say buy it. I mean, the explosive resistance is really good. It holds nine people. So I feel like that's more than you'll ever need. And it's just a really fun car to have, you know, one of your friends hop in the gunner seat and then just go on super long police chases or just even going around, you know, trying to kill other people. I don't really do that that often, but I know some people are going to like that, you know, that as a reason to own this car. And for 200 grand, again, that's that's nothing. So definitely pick it up, even though the Night Shark is still going to be coming. I mean, I guess if you're super, super, you know, low on cash, wait until the Night Shark comes out. But if you want an armored car, that's a personal vehicle that has a gun on it that's really good and explosive resistant i mean this one you can't beat so definitely pick it up the only sort of negative i can think of regarding this car is if you try and drive it into your garage it it definitely messes up because it's it's a lot bigger than i guess what they sort of anticipated but it still works that's just a little negative if you even want to call it that but that is it so thank you all as always like i said i'll see you guys in the next one